So question one here, we know that uh, this angle and this angle and this angle add up to 180, so this must be 40 degrees. We cross multiply to find AC, and this comes up here, and then we get the calculator out, and AC is 13.99. Question 2, AB is 8.05. Let's round it up to two decimal places. Question 3, uh, BC is 16.99. You notice that angle B is 90 degrees. Question 4 here, AB is the one we're looking for. Let's put it in red. And AB is opposite 63, which is why we've got AB over sine 63. The answer... 18.29. Sorry, it's in red. Never mind. And BC, 32.96. So sine C is 0 0.8072. And angle C is 53.8 degrees. So question 7, sine C is 0 0.6829, 0 0.6829, and angle C equals 43.1, or 33, 43.07, or put 1 degrees there. Just put, mark here what the answers are, put a red little square around them so we know which ones are which, of course that one there, that one there. And that one there, and one more to go there. There we go. So question 8, angle C is 0.2249, and side angle C, 12.99 degrees. So you could make that 13 degrees if you wanted to. Not a problem. Question 9 here, sine A works out to be 0.3419. And therefore angle A will equal 19, I've got 20 degrees, rounded up to 20.0 degrees. And the last question, angle C is 59 degrees, 59.0 degrees. Excellent, well done.